Hi everybody, so in video 1922 we made this thing, it's a magnetic gear. Now the only reason I made it like this is because it's a nice example and it shows you what's needed for a magnetic gear and it's basically two rings of magnets and a ring of iron in between that's separated into segments to act as a modulator. Now that's a nice compact package and as I said in the video, if you're doing this out of something like 3D printing or plastics, well the engineering to get a really good gear and a great gear ratio is pretty minimal and of course they don't touch. So it being made out of plastic, <laughs> you don't have that problem with wear. They're not going to wear out in the same way because they're just not touching. But that is, well, like I say, pretty useful, but not as useful as it could be for us because it doesn't matter which one of these rings you hold and then which two you turn in relation to the one you're holding. We can hold any of them. We can hold the inside magnets, the outside magnets, this central metal piece, any of them will do. Now that's the idea of the central metal piece, that's really really interesting. So I turned to Tinkercad of course and made this. It's a bit of a disc with some holes in it. <laughs> Big whoop! <laughs> because when I found out about magnetic gears I thought well they're sort of interesting aren't they? I can see some of the advantages but so what? And I think you would be forgiven for thinking that. It's certainly what I was thinking but then I thought about it a bit more and if we look a bit more at this what we can do with this is take a whole load of bolts and stick those bolts in there and if we put those bolts in there all the way around there we go like that we'll get a ring that can act as a modulator that is a fixed ring so let's put a load of bolts in and there it is with 24M8 bolts stuck through it. Now I've done this in Tinkercad, the link is in the description should anybody want these files to play around with. But once you've bolted on those 24 bolts, what we've got is the modulator for a magnetic gear. Or if you like, it's also directly part of a wind turbine. What we need now, of course, are the two magnetic rings. And we've got two magnetic rings. Here we've got one with 12 magnets or if you like six pole pairs and here we've got one with 36 magnets or if you like 18 pole pairs and of course 18 plus 6 24. So these two magnetic rings are the bit that are going to move. Now it's a 3 to 1 ratio so it's a 3 to 1 gears because there's 12, 36 so 3 to 1. We get, we get a 3 to 1 gear. These just slide onto that axle there. And there it is. Now then clearly we could bolt some wind turbine blades onto this and we could bolt an axial flux generator onto this. Actually just glue some magnets and put a coil on there you'll have an axial flux generator and because there's a magnetic gear of course we get the 3 to 1 ratio. But there's something else that's really super interesting about magnetic gears. Magnetic gears slip when the torque is too high. So if I give that a spin, you can see this one's spinning. Now if it's a 3 to 1 ratio, so it spins three times as fast, equally the torque is a third. So you can see it moving. If I spin that too fast and hold that, nothing happens silently, this slips. Equally if I just spin it too fast anyway, it will slip and this will not turn. Now that might seem quite detrimental at first but then have a think about it because what this means is there is a built-in torque limiter. This can't turn too quickly and that is why these are a huge area of research for wind turbines because they're lighter, they're cheaper, they're easier to make and they have a built-in safety feature and that they are automatically torque limited so you can't get a runaway turbine and of course that is of super interest to absolutely everybody. So magnetic gears far from being a curiosity and an alternative to gears look like they are in fact a super addition to anybody's wind turbine. Then a wind turbine arrangement that's be the kind of thing you were looking at. The other one we looked at was more of a planetary gear but I thought I would do this to show you that these actually would be excellent in a wind turbine particularly with the safety feature and particularly with that trade-off between torque and speed that everybody's on about and of course we'd make a very compact cheap turbine out of plastic that would last probably longer than one made out of metal. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.